talking about collecting ruby stained glass. I have some examples I can show here um, to you. And we were talking about its period of time when it has reached its popularity during the late 1900s, um, the late 18th cent 19th century into the 20th century. And this is glass that was um, produced by the ruby stained glass was painted with a chemical solution which included sulfate of copper when exposed to a high kiln temperature of about a thousand degrees, um, it would turn color and adhere to the surface. So this is what you see here, is the color adhered to the surface. Um, and they would take blanks. Um, some examples would be manufacturers would take blanks of uh, tableware that was made um, during that period, large, large amounts of tableware, and just um, add this ruby flash to it. So um, that was some of the ways that we... Um, we can see that this flash was uh, applied to the ruby uh, staining here. And you can see it down in some of these. Here's another p example of a water cup with a heavy ruby staining um, or ruby flash. So that's just a, um, to give you a background on how this was made and the period of time that it was made. And we'll talk about the different sh shapes and sizes um, in this series.